If watching other YouTube videos has taught me anything, it's that I should just eat this onto my table and break everything. So yeah, Ikoria has been released. Uh, Paper Magic is dead. Uh, that's not actually true though. My LGS is starting up Paper Play this week because yee-haw, and here I am opening my box. Which is a little bit late because I spent release day blind and vomiting. So yeah, I'm excited to get this set though, get my hands on it. It's a good set. Got a lot of good cards, a lot of interesting stuff. I'm a fan. Uh, Companion should be banned. That being said, I'm hoping to get 36 copies of Luris. Anyway, oh, my box topper is not bent. That is, that is a win right there. Uh, we'll save that, I suppose. Get all the packs out of this box. I could pull them out of the box now that I think about it, but whatever. Uh, yeah, I usually just open my box in, you know, privacy on my own time, but I thought it might be fun this time to go ahead and open it on camera, you know, just uh, see what we get. I'll probably put these packs over here. You can't see them over there, but there are packs over here. You know that. Um, yeah. Let's see what I get. For whatever reason, it didn't really occur to me the sound that this would make. Ooh. Huh. Interesting. That's the opposite way I expected. I don't really know what way I actually expected, though. Red. So, I open boxes. Uh, I do sort by color. Uh, as I'm opening, that's just the way that I typically open them. Uh, just so that I, I, I keep the rares separate, so you'll see me put rares in a separate pile, usually, or cards that I think are interesting. So far, nothing that I, you know, just your roll filling commons and uncommons. Some good cards here. This card is very nice. I'm going to set that to the side because I have uh, a pile of cards that I think are interesting and rares because those are usually go in decks or something. That card's actually kind of interesting. Oh, there we go. First companion. These aren't actually that hard to come by. I've already opened up my pre-release kit and, or two pre-release kits actually, and the prize pack that come with it. So I actually do have a fair amount of uh, cards already. This card's very interesting. It's really good in draft and of course you know there's some some standard applications in certain decks. I don't know exactly how good it's going to be. Actually, I probably, this card is also fascinating to me. It's just like, just trying to make white combat tricks a little bit better. And I think it actually succeeds. I think it's interesting enough that you can put it into some places. These colorless cards that aren't Eldrazi freak me out a little bit. Uh, let's see if we can, uh, it's hard to get the frame to work exactly right. Oh well. Corpse Churn, that card's into oh this card I love. Just the, the art, I love the new beast token, I hope I get one of those. Uh, the one that goes with this, put that in the interesting pile. I don't actually know how useful it is though. That card's fascinating, green is over there. Ooh, Crystalline Giant. Uh, we'll put multicolored here. Uh, this card is, I really like it just because I like colorless cards. Uh, and it seems kind of absurd. It's one of the cards that people were like, oh man, you know, they're really making stuff for Arena now because, you know, can't possibly randomly determine uh, what counter to get in a physical setting. This card's interesting. Green gets just as good life gain as white because that's the world we live in right now. These cyclers are also interesting. Uh, some cycle payoffs. But yeah, everyone's complaining that they're making cards for Arena. Mutate is so complicated, although its mechanical difference from bestow, in my opinion, is up for debate. Uh, it seems seems like just a way to sort of rehash that design space. Ooh, an ultimatum. I like the effects of these ultimatums, but they just seem so expensive. That's my thought. They are not, I mean, like, obviously they're, you know, powerful effects, but I'm not that interested in cards that, that are that difficult to cast. That's just me. Uh, this card is great in draft, this bug that comes back from the graveyard that you can mutate onto. Oh, Convolute. That's, okay, that's that spell that I thought. I knew there was another common encounter spell. 
Or a is the other one, the other one's uncommon, the cycling one. Everyone likes this. Ooh, there we go. That's cool. Got got two of the trumpeting Nars. This one is alternate art. Uh, the people that I was watching open packs got this alternate art way more than I did. People like this Evolving Wilds art. I am a fan as well. Where should I put that? I guess I'll put it in colorless there. Uh, that's not my favorite Evolving Wilds art, but it's pretty good. Wait, was that? Did I? Okay. I, I, yeah, I'm into uncommons now. Lead the Stampede. Good for... Oh, yeah, yeah, there's another... One of those guys. Um, I'll put that in the interesting pile. Ah, oh, here we go. We have one of these trample. Uh, not trample. Trample isn't even on here, is it? Trample is not on here. I just look like a fool. We have one of these counter things. The ones that you get in the pre-release kits that are actually on a thick cardstock are actually like pretty decent. Though these are nice, just you know, to have in packs so that people can sort that stuff out. Let's get that out of there. Ooh, this card's really interesting. I always feel like these spells that uh, counter things that you control are kind of underrated. And this one draws a card. Like, that seems pretty good, although its its application is kind of limited. This card, I keep thinking this... Uh, rather, I keep mistaking Cathartic Reunion for that card, uh, which has gotten me into some trouble every once in a while. Uh, this one... Yeah. I, I keep thinking this is the other one, the one that uh, cantrips when it enters the battlefield. This is still fine. Three damage, whatever. Another convolute. Got a bunch of convolutes. The ability counters. Another ability counter. Bastion of... Ooh, there we go. That's a card I wanted. Uh, the Mythos. I also wanted one of these, though. This Bastion of Remembrance. It's nice. I like to play aristocrat strategies, and having a harder-to-target sort of blood artist effect is actually actually really nice, although the extra mana might prove to be interesting. This card, the Mythos are really interesting. This is probably the worst worded spell in all of Magic in the past, you know, 20 years or whatever. It's kind of hard to understand what the heck is going on in that, but, you know, that's that's what happens sometimes. Oh, it's another another Forbidden Friendship. It's not Cathartic Reunion. I used to, I got a bunch of Cathartic Reunions, now I got a bunch of those. Not seeing enough of those to really make the Make that deck come together. I don't really know how real a deck that is. Another Evolving Wilds. People love this art, like I said before. I like it a lot, but it's not my favorite Evolving Wilds art. I think Ixalan is my favorite Evolving Wilds art. More fight. This card was a rare at one point. Ah, oh, hey! It's Controversy the card. Uh, you know. Band and all that. Band and Commander really just be banned in, you know, all formats. Actually, well, I, that one might be the most reasonable in other formats, honestly. It's actually pretty restrictive in, you know, formats that aren't Commander. This card is very good. First Strike or Flying. Those are both very nice. Reprinting Frostlings. A uh, naturalized that might be main deckable. All of these cards are very fascinating to me. It's a very interesting set. I don't really know what to make of it. Cycling for one seems super powerful. Ooh, okay, that looks actually really nice. I was dubious about these when I first... Oh, there's some more counters. Uh, when I first saw them, uh, in person they look a lot better. Uh, the art, in my opinion, does. Like, it comes off a lot better. It just looks kind of weird. It, like, it almost doesn't look like a magic card. I hate to be that guy. Where's my cards that I actually want? Not that I don't want Snapdax. Snapdax is good, but like, I'd like some. Honestly, I would like some Lurises. Uh, Mythics, I would like, uh, what is that one? Uh, Fiend Artisan. And, uh, probably the Moth, right? Who doesn't want the Moth? Let's see what happens here. Ooh, there we go. Finally getting some more of these. I don't, again, like, the art style is fine. It's not, I'm not the biggest fan of it, but it is actually, like, it looks a lot better in person than online. And it, you know, gives people the chance to customize it. They look, uh, they're pretty common, so I'm glad that they're doing that, like, relatively uh, commonly interspersed in the packs, because that way they're not too expensive for people that want them. Ooh, and we have a foil here as well. 
Uh, this card is great. Removal spell. Uh, Brokos. Nice. And then, ooh, a foil. Uzalith. Ozalith? Whatever this is. This card is pretty cool. It goes in that same deck that I was talking about earlier with the Crystalline Giant. Sort of standard affinity list. I really like. I enjoy that type of stuff. Uh, and I will enjoy it until Steel Overseer leaves standard, in which case I will be sad. Uh, here we go, there's actual Cathartic Reunion. You can see how I got that confused, right? That <laughs> It's just the same art, but facing the other way. I don't want to find the other art. Fertilid reprint is nice. I like Fertilids. I actually have a bigger respect for them now. This Essence Scatter Art is just amazing. Sam McKinnon knocks it out of the park. Uh, I'm replacing most of my Essence Scatters with that art. Card's pretty interesting. Plummet, don't know why. It's got pretty neat art, though, this time around. Uh, still not the best card in the world, but it's, you know, it's Plummet. Constance Mission. This card is weird. Uh, I love cards that when you do a thing, they turn into a creature. So I'm actually a big fan of this one, but it's very esoteric and strange. Oh, we got a shark, and I think we got a foil. Yeah, we got a foil. Uh, that spider is really nice. Whenever you mutate it onto a thing, it gets counters. Or you mutate onto it. That seems great. Uh, foil fog, that's not that good. Uh, the great shark, though, is weird. I don't know how it counters things. I don't really know what a shark is supposed to be doing to counter anything. Uh, did I open the pack upside down again? Why do I keep doing that? All these cards that come in with your choice of counter are fascinating, and I really like that. I enjoy the depth, the complexity of that uh, sort of thought choice, uh, where you're like, Thought choice? Aren't all th choices thought choice? Anyway, I uh, enjoyed the depth of that choice where you're like, oh, what do I really want here? This card's good. This card is cool. Uh, just being able to give something trample. 11 11. I was thinking more cards would be like this, this big. There actually aren't that many, like, behemoths in this set, which is interesting to me. Another parcel beast. Ah, oh. Offspring's Revenge. That card isn't that great. In my opinion, at least. It's not the best. But yeah, this set is probably one that I would um, I would consider. You know, there are people that get one of each card, or they get they try and recreate the experience, uh, like in a cube of drafting a set. So it's either like this, they have the same like frequency of commons and uncommons and stuff, or they have just one of each card. I would consider doing that with this because I think there's a lot of depth in the stuff that you're trying to do in this set. Archipelago, that card's a beating and limited, but. Um, I don't know if it's going to see... I mean, I, I'm not really into this. Ah, oh, yes, Colossification and a Foil Boot Nipper. These crystals are also interesting uh, for Commander. If you're in those colors exactly, they're probably slightly better than a than a Manolith because you can always just cycle them away, which is fascinating. Just to, you know, give you... Uh, fascinating. Just gives you a little more options. I like, you know, every Magic player loves options. To be able to cycle away a card is always good. Cycling is a great mechanic. I think everyone agrees. The cycling deck in standard, though, is pretty annoying at the moment. It's not. I'm not. This card's very, very strange. But yeah, I'm not a fan of trying to interact with that cycling deck. It, it frustrates me a lot. I say as I play mono red. Ooh, another one of these. Alternate arts. Oh, that heron. Dreamtail heron. Interesting. Looks nice. Blazing volley's fine. Ah, right, here we go. Here's the actual counter spell. It is uncommon. Uh, this card is just good, right? You could counter its cancel with cycling. That seems pretty good. Uh, this card's crazy. This turns Menace into almost unblockable, which is very good. Oh, we have a Zerda. Still no Luris. Um, yeah, and then we have the, one of the Human Tribal payoffs. That card's also pretty good. Human Tribal in this one is actually like a real thing. I like Zerda as a companion. I like the art, but I don't know. How often I'm I mean I make decks with activated abilities a lot, but I don't know how often I personally will be getting that uh, uh, meeting that criteria. I don't like having to meet those sort of criteria. That's another reason I probably don't like companion that much, although it might just be because I'm either a sourpuss or super right. Uh, you'll never know. This card's Interesting gives your uh, gives your shatters a sort of third mode right there. That's oh, that's really hard to interact with, hard to counter. One of the cycling 
this one? No, this is one of the mutate payoffs. I think of the other one. That's the cycling payoff. Uh, Boros cats. Boros kitties. Uh, one of those. Crystals. There we go. We got a triome. Those are, those are nice. Super happy about those, but I wish that they had just finished their other cycle that they could have, you know, done. Who decided to make this set so soon? Like, I, I know it's been a long time since cons, but, you know, so soon after cons, why did they make another set that focuses on the wedges and not complete a cycle that they'd already started? They have to start a new cycle? I don't really understand it. Uh, there we go. I guess 3-1 Cat Tribal is a thing now. Oh, that's not the that's not the right pile. Anticipate's always good. This card, oop, there's a, I have this uh, alternate art already. The alternate art for this card is amazing. Volpakeet. Put that up there. This is a... This is a classic example of, this doesn't look very efficient, but it just, it does, gets the job done. Hard to interact with. Good card. Right there, leave the stampede. Ooh, this one's, uh, this goes, yeah, this one's interesting. These jump through hoops to draw card lands are interesting. I like them, you know, depending on how many colors you have. In this, in this set, it's actually a real, like, there's a price to including that in your deck. There's some other cards that you might not be able to cast, but usually they're pretty free includes, especially depending on how many uh, colored pips you actually need. Why would I ever consider putting that over there? Yeah, the, one of the mutate payoffs. This card again. A looter. This is the one I was thinking of, the, the can tripper. This card's actually like surprisingly good. Needs a card, needs a creature to uh, target though. That's, uh, that's Righteousness, except in green. There's the Leosaur again, Porky Parrot. Oh, this guy. The Protection from Odd or Even. That's an interesting direction that they're moving. I don't care. It's not... It's not making white any better. They should be making better white cards, but they're not. So, you know. Uh... The packs are coming back to get me. Oh, this is a rare. <laughs> I, I, maybe I should put that in the rare pile. Maybe I should put the rare in the rare pile. A kind of Ophidian type creature. I hope to get that octopus. That octopus is actually pretty good. This card's also surprisingly good. Um, I wish there was some more Planeswalker hate in here, though. This this art kind of creeps me out. Is it a goat? What is it? I don't, very strange. Pangolings are back, like that. How does this, what? What is this art? It's just a bunch of wings. Very strange. Again, this is a hard, this is actually like just a, a card that I love. I like the fact that they have a cycling payoff, but having to play against it is, is rough. It's not, ooh, this card's actually very good. This menace, menace tribal, I like that. I'll put this necropanther in there as well. Still no Luris. I'm gonna keep harping on Luris. He's not, he's not going to appear because I keep asking for him. He, is shy. He doesn't like to show up in time. Yeah. Convolute. So, I'm, I'm digging some of these cards. Like, I, I like the art style. I like the sort of play style of this set. The limited seems, like, really interesting. I wish I wasn't having to play it on Arena, because I don't like Arena that much. But, uh, the, like, it's, it seems like there's so many different things, like, just the fact that they're cycling on a bunch of cards. There's another Yorion. I, uh, we haven't opened one here, but I, I have opened one previously. And then a Foil Perimeter Sergeant Yorion. Also an annoying deck to play against. Don't like that one. I think, uh, Companion. In Limited, it's interesting. It's fascinating in Limited. Um, and... You know, the cards are just kind of good on their own, even if you don't play them for Companion, which I think is the reason that they did that. They were trying to... They're rares, you know, and they're like, oh, hey, you know, we, we should make the rares playable. This card is crazy. Um, we should make the rares playable, even if, you know, they don't use them as their Companion, but they made them too playable, I think. And, uh, yeah. I don't, I don't really know who approved that decision, uh, either, but... I think that that might have been a mistake. Uh, just like making companions good enough that you can just main deck them anyway. This art is beautiful. Gorgeous. Look at that. 
This card's also, I mean, it's just a 5 mana 6-6 six, six and, and limited, and then you can potentially get a lot of a lot of card advantage off that. Whirlwind well, of Thought, not exciting, but that's kind of what you expect from Jeskai. It's you know, some good payoffs for what Jeskai wants to be doing. Um, so yeah, I feel like the companions are going to have to get banned, aren't they? There's there's no way they're going to survive that long. They're going to sell a bunch of packs, now they finally release the set, they're going to wait like four weeks and then they'll ban them, right? Because, you know, they just, they, there's no way this can stand. They are just super samey, super annoying. There are ways to beat them. Like, I always thought that, you know, in Oko Standard, people were too unwilling to try and play Tail's End, which seems like Taylor made, or the Ceratops, but of course, Oko can play the Ceratops as well. But Tail's End was like Taylor made to fight cards like Oko. This card's really good as well. Of course, everyone knows that. It's kind of like Storm Chaser Mage. And uh, so I think, I think there's some more brewing that can be done to sort of beat these... Uh, Companion decks. There we go. That's the beast art I was talking about. I skip over this ultimatum because the ultimatums are kind of boring to me. I think that I think there are tools that have been built into standard, and that people are just gravitating toward the decks that seem to be winning the most. That a lot of people are like net decking, and so a lot of your games on arena feel the same. And I don't really, I don't really want to, you know, go and play arena when all my decks feel the same. I saw a Colossification combo deck today, though, when I was playing arena, and that was super fun to play it to lose against <laughs> it was uh it seemed like it actually had an interesting sort of uh thing that it was going for trying to do uh it was fun to try and you know outrace them interact with them as opposed to the yorion game that i played just afterwards yorion fires which was just infuriating absolutely hate that uh this card's weird I like i like why why does white just gain life? And limited, that card's pretty good. Cunning Knight Bonder. This card's fascinating. Uh, oh, there's a regular Uzalith. Also, this Ominous Siege. You don't have to sacrifice that, which is what everyone points out. And that is absolutely fascinating. Absolutely backbreaking. Uh, if your opponent can, you know, get a deck that does a lot of cycling and can just, you know, control you out and then remove, uh, you know, make 8 8s every once in a while. Why did I put that there? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Venturous Impulse. Again. I think, uh, uh... It feels like everyone's already kind of sick of this standard, which is understandable. I think Arena has a lot to do with that, though. I think there's a lot of people who are net decking, um, which isn't, like, a bad thing on its own. There's everyone, it's, you know, it's Ulamog's Crusher, right? Um, this card's also... I love the way this card works. It's just, it's a good... Uh, I... It's not really flavor, but it, it's got a good, you know, like, sort of ring to it. It's, a, it's um, intuitive, understandable. Uh, but I think a lot of people are just, you know, copying decks that they've already seen. And, uh, this card's a bit, a bit weak. Um, and, you know, the decks that are kind of winning, and so no one's really, like, digging deep on the, the ways that they can sort of beat the metagame. Although it is kind of hard to beat. Like, Teferi is just a hard card to to mess around with him when you put a bunch of put a bunch of powerful cards next to him you just kind of start losing uh your grip on reality really the brush bag's cool did i put a brush bag in here already in my inter in my pile of cards that are interesting eventually oh this card's interesting i don't know if it's efficient enough to really do what you want also another skittering surveyor effect although this one's on artifact which is it's got vigilance everyone it's good to mutate onto everyone Knows that by now, probably. Coordinated charge. Sort of combat trick. This card is surprisingly annoying. I mean, I guess it's not its not particularly surprising, I suppose, but it is very annoying. The Sky Bonder. I haven't seen as many Bonders as I thought I would. Oh, this card's um, absurd. Giving, giving non... Uh, uh, yes, okay, yeah. So the, the, this one, this is not the one I thought, this is the Sultai one. This is also pretty good, though. Um, you can just sort of recur some creatures, get some cards into your bin. That card's also pretty absurd. The uh, Sultai one, though, the Delve one, basically Delve, is, is crazy. That card is amazing. Got an Ixalan reprint. Everyone was just clamoring for that to get reprinted, right? Everyone was just like, oh, man, Frenzied Raptor, that card was so good. I just, I need that back in my life. I need another Frenzied Raptor. Mysterious Egg, Corpse Churn. Yeah. 
these giving a you know green its choice of which uncommon it wanted. I see I have a foil there. Sometimes I'm tempted. Oh, I I I know what it is now. Uh, back for this card is a uh, beating if it gets resolved and limited. It's an instant, an instant speed reanimate fight. That card is so good. Oh, here we go. Um, this is exactly what everyone needed. Of course, you know, Simic really needed the help to double. I'm just, I'm just repeating talking points at this point. I am the magic equivalent of an, of an uninspired talking head, even though I'm not a head, nor am I talking. I'm just sitting there. Occasionally I have, you know, original thoughts like, you know, mutate isn't that different from bestow. Uh, but for the most part, you know, I just, uh, I just repeat what other people have said. Um, and it, it works for me. Uh, it, it doesn't. I'm, I'm just lying. This card's freaky. I like that. One of those cards. This is one of those cards that people just don't get, right? It's like, what is? Why does this do what? Anyway. Oh yeah. People thought that they were gonna have to like brew really hard around this. They're like, oh man, I'm gonna try and break Zenith Flare. That card's really good, as it turns out. There we go. Another. I, I already put one in there. Just like it. You know, the Uncard, everyone's favorite. There's just a, it's a, you know, it's Super Duper Death Ray. I like it a lot. Super Duper Death Ray was already going to go in my cube, uh, so that'll probably go in my cube instead. Um, General Kudro, it's not. He's fine. Humans aren't my tribe. Oh, look at that. That one opened so nicely. That was just, a, that was a, perfect pack. That pack wanted to be opened. Opened? I had that sentence good and then I just didn't do it. These uh, spells that are cost less when you meet a requirement are also fascinating. They might be uh, like once upon a time though, a bit powerful. They might be a bit too good. I don't know. Like, I mean, this card's just great. Underestimating reach is a thing that magic players love to do. Comes an uncommon, interesting. More fight. I feel like I have another foil. I do. I can see it. Ooh, I have a. I have foil mythos. 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 Seth McKinnon art on these is so good. This card. These mythos are so weird, and I love them. Like I. I don't know how often I'll play the ones that aren't the mythos of Nethroy or whatever. The one that's just the removal spell. But. You know the other ones are are interesting. They. You know you want to. You want to play differently whenever you see them. So. I think they'll be a lot of fun, but they don't excite me that much. Um, which I guess is is kind of a problem. I'm really, I'm more excited by like the commons and uncommons in this set. Greater Sandworm gets, comes back there. The trap. This card is annoying to deal with in limited. Splendor Mare. These, like, the cap putting ability counters on things, another thing that people were like, oh man, this is gonna be, this is gonna be so confusing. How can anyone understand about, you know, we put ability counters on things. Like, you know, there weren't already a bunch of counters that were kind of fiddly to deal with and a bit annoying. At least they're not like Baron Syngear's like plus two, plus two counters or whatever the heck that was. Everyone's favorite. I wonder what that new Baron Sen gear is going to be. Ooh, there we go. Got the Primo removal. One of the best, one of the best Doom Blades is, is Lord Dracus. That's pretty cool. And we got a Cut Warden too. I'm actually kind of excited about that and building a Cat Mander deck. Uh, and I am happy to have a Cub Warden. I'm, I'm contemplating how this set will work for Cube because, like, on the one hand, like, obviously some mutate creatures are really powerful, but mutate really wants you to have more mutate cards. Yeah, see, this is just the same art, but backwards. Uh, mutate really wants you to have more creatures that mutate, and you can't, you know, fill up, unless your cube is, you know, a Ikoria cube, you can't have too many mutate cards. So you got to be very careful with what you put in there. So I don't know if Cub Warden, like, makes it into cube. Obviously, it makes it into commander. That's just pretty good. Oh, this says all creatures your opponents control. I didn't realize that. That's better than I thought it was. Lots of first strike in this set. That has first strike, right? Nope, that's a different one. 
I am so good at remembering magic cards. Another Lava Brink Venture. What does this card do? Future plant, you can remember instant structures in your graveyard. That's another card I hadn't read until right now. I... Huh. There are a couple of those cards. There's the the uh, exile card that that's one white, to, but you have to tap one of your creatures and you can only exile tapped creatures. So it's like a really bad path to exile. Uh, actually, it's like a really bad Swords to Plowshares because uh, it doesn't doesn't give your opponent anything in return. They just have to have tapped their creature already. Uh, I, I hadn't read that card until I opened one, and I was like, oh, this card's actually, like, pretty interesting. They should just reprint, like, Swords or Path, but this card's actually interesting. This card, again, this one's another one that's just, like, they combine a bunch of different effects that you want. Like, this is just Golgari the card, right? That's super good. Another Bastion of Remembrance there. Ooh, there we go. I like this one. Uh, it's not the <laughs> the best in the world. Uh, certainly not for standard. Although it is, actually, it's fine for standard. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, your opponents can't cast spells from anywhere other than their hands. Super good in Commander. In my opinion. Obviously, it's a creature. It can be removed. But, uh, it's just like what I want to be doing in Commander. I just have a sort of mono-white uh, taxes, sort of stacks deck that I just annoy everyone with. I talk about what's annoying and then I do that and I just play a bunch of Thalias, right? So, you know, who am I to judge anyone? But... Yeah. What is this? Bitter spit? Blister spit? Ew. That's just gross. People are saying this card was bad too. This card's like... The opportunity cost is so low. One mana cycling... The decisions that were made, this card's not very good in my opinion. Same thing as that, that Lava Brink Adventurer. It's just not... Even a rod is just not up to snuff, in my opinion, for, you know, stuff that you can... can do. But whoever was, like, on the team, like, oh yeah, we'll make this, uh, we'll put companions in here, we'll make this, you know, set about, uh, the wedges again for some reason, and we'll put one mana cycling cards in here. That, you know, whoever people were designing this set were a bit a bit off the deep end, in my opinion, but it, you know, it's pretty cool stuff, right? Like, at least I'm getting some cool cards out of it. Until, yeah, there we go. Swallow Hole. This one, you, you have to tap a creature you control, put a counter on it, and then you exile another tapped creature. Uh, that, like, that card's actually pretty good pretty decent. I just started putting white cards on top of the blue cards for some reason. Boon of the Wishgiver is interesting. Ah, oh, another Umori. I actually have two of these already, uh, so I'm not that excited about those. Again, I'm actually... most of the companions I'm not that excited about. Have I gotten a I got. I've got a Mythic, uh, but I don't remember what it was. We'll look back through. Phase Dolphin. The commons and uncommons here are also deceptively powerful. Uh... Capture Sphere again. There we go. I think I, we got one of those in this box already. A Cavern Whisperer. Alternate Art. Dreamtail Heron. Oh, there we go. Yep. Yeah. There is the Alternate Art Cloud Piercer. That art just looks so good. And it's just like a 5-4 with reach for 5, regardless of whether or not you mutate it. That card's just, like, good. I like it. The Rescuer. Eerie Ultimatum. Okay, this is the one I wanted. I want this for Commander. Because, of course, you just return any number of... All the permanents that are in your graveyard that aren't basic lands. Just get them all back. Get them all back. We're down to four packs here. This has been, honestly, you know, it's been a fine box. Got a couple Ultimatums. It's some nice stuff. Uh, but it's not... I've got to be honest, not that exciting. Not not that enthused. Should have probably bought the, uh, the Moth and the Fiend Artisan at my store when they were there. Someone bought the Fiend Artisan out from under me. I told them it was in the, it was in the binder uh, because I was I was deciding on whether or not I wanted to get it. Um, Bulbakeet, another one of those. A regular old Cloud Piercer. Put that over there. Primal Empathy. This card seems fine. Just a bunch of interesting decisions. Did we get a Partial Beast as well? Ooh, there we go, Gym Razor. That card is also... That card's probably good enough to just see play in cube, in my opinion. A 4-4 four, four with Reach and Trample for 4. That seems and it, like an entirely defendable rate. Defensible. Seems fine. 
Not a bad card at all. Lift a little boring. And then occasionally you can mutate it onto your like mana elf or something and then just blow something up, you know? If your opponents get off to an early lead with an artifact or an enchantment, right? Just blow it up. That seems like a seems like a cubable card there. Sales again. Huntmaster Liger. What does this one do? Cards get plus X plus X. That's one of the mutate payoffs. This card is also very strange. Fight from your hand. Not even fight from your hand. It's just like Rabid Bite from your hand. They really like pushed Rabid Bite here. Porky Parrot. There we go. This card's freaky. Oh, that's one of my mythics. Oh, the other the other Apex was probably my other mythic, so I'm probably not gonna get. Uh, did I get? I got another Apex, didn't I? We'll go. We'll go through and we'll look. Probably not gonna get the Fiend Artisan or the Brood Moth in this box, which is disappointing. I'm disappointed. Not that disappointed. This box has been overall pretty good, though. It's been it's been like middle of the road, pretty fine. You know, might have to buy another box or something. Fertile Lands, Blazing Mollies. Eventually, you just get. Oh, this card is. Uh, this card's fascinating. It does lose all abilities. That's a pretty crazy text line. It's, that's, it's on a blue card, too? That's a white effect. They're just giving white's effects to everything else. Exile, losing abilities, all sorts of stuff. Another Dire Tactics. That one's good. Ooh, there we go. This card looks weird. This is one of the ones where I, I think the art style is a bit strange. Like, I'm not personally not the biggest fan of that art, but... It does look nice. Last pack. Gotta get something good. We still have the box topper. Box topper's over there. Sealed product, not for resale. How many stores do you think are reselling that at this very moment? Probably a lot. Probably a lot. The brushwag's cool. Brushwag is surprisingly good. Late game mana sink. Got trample already. It's just kind of a house. Got the standard. What does this do? Will of the All Hunter. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the one that rewards blocking, right? Pouncing Shore Shark. There we go. This this artwork is dope. That's just what I want from artwork. Unpredictable Cyclone. We do have a foil. It's a foil unlikely aid. Alrighty. We got a cycling payoff there. Uh, first, I'm gonna look through and see what my other mythic was. Um, just see. The box toppers are the only are the Godzilla ones, so uh, so I have the Illuma, which is a good card, like it, big fan. Uh, General Kudro, that's uh oh and and Kinnon, just a card I'm not excited about. I don't really like Kinnon. It doesn't just doesn't excite me. But yeah, three Mythic box, that's that's pretty good. Got some, I mean, got some obvious. Oh, we got a Snapdax as well. Yeah, we we did well. So, you know, some unexciting stuff. Not exactly what I wanted, but, I mean, some good cards still. Nice stuff. Let's see what Godzilla thing we got. Other than, of course, I got the... Here, I'll, I'll tease you a little bit more. I got the buy a box promo. Got actual... Actual, factual Godzilla. I... These packs that only have one card in it are so frustrating to me because I feel like... Oh, they have two cards? What? I don't... Nope, that's one card. Okay, I'm just an idiot. I'm just a fool. Oh, Rodan! Which is the Apex of Thunder, which we have, right? Is that the one we got? No, Apex of Wishes. Okay. Yeah, this is the one that you can cast cards from your graveyard. And it doesn't exile them, right? Yeah, it doesn't exile them. This card's pretty crazy. Uh, so cool. We have Rodan. That is our final card for this box. Pretty good box. You know, I, I mean, average. Pretty good average box. I'm happy. Got to do some more sorting. Got most of the cards that I wanted. Uh, like most of the, the commons and uncommons, of course, that I wanted. So I'll have to do some buying and trading. So yeah. Cool beans. Well, hope everyone out there is enjoying a Coria on Arena or in paper and uh, I mean the set's been super fun to me I like looking at all the cards like the new 
this this set, like I said, is so interesting. I'd want to make like a cube around it. So I'm I'm very happy with it. I hope y'all are too. Hope everyone is you know not going stir crazy and is uh, staying safe and all that. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.